Aha, look at, look at all these peppers. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to the homestead. So today is Friday, and I am gonna do a quick garden tour with you because I am leaving the farm tomorrow. I am going back to California for about five days to visit family. So you know how things change drastically when you're gone. So I wanna see what it looks like now, and then when I get back, I'll do another tour to see how much things have changed. I've also gone through and done a lot of the weeding just to make sure that the plants are visible because I'm leaving this in the capable hands of my father-in-law and my husband while I'm gone to mend. So I hope they can stay on top of the weeding for me and that way I don't get home to a big jungle. But if I get home to a big jungle, then I've got a jungle to tackle when I get back. So let's do a quick walkthrough and see how everything has changed in the one week since you guys last saw the garden. All right, friends. So starting off with my potatoes, I've got my two rows of potatoes here and look at how great they are doing. They've gotten so tall. So let me do a quick comparison of me standing next to. All right, friends, so here I'm next to one of my potatoes and you can see it is thigh high. It is just above my knee, middle of my thigh. These have gotten so tall. It's really crazy how much these have grown in just a month and a half. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So now let's head over to the tomatoes and I can show you how great the tomatoes are doing. All right, so here are all my tomatoes. And they also are doing fantastic. They too go just above my knee with how tall they are. They're equal to our potatoes. And these I planted, I wanna say two weeks after I planted the potatoes, but these were already starts. So all these I started inside back in February and they are all doing fantastic. And I went, went ahead and got all of them staked up with their own individual stakes. These are the new ones that I planted that I got at Tractor Supply because they're heirloom tomatoes that I don't have and they're all doing fantastic. As they continue to grow, I will go ahead and stake them up as well. So I have got through the weeding of most of this side, but I have not yet gotten to this side as much. So I need to go through here and try to get as much done as I can today because I leave bright and early tomorrow morning. So I need to get as much done as possible. All right, friends, so my salsa uh, tomatoes have started to uh, produce some fruit. Let me show you some of them. As well as my big boy tomatoes. So this is my big boy tomato and I've got six of these and they are all producing nice sized fruit. Let me show you them. All right, friends, so I showed you that I did one section of my tomatoes on string, and I do not like how that turned out, so I am actually gonna go through and take all the string off, and I'm gonna trellis them up with the stakes, and then do it, just do it that way, because that's so much easier. You can see that they are still leaning over, and they're just not propped up the way I want them to be propped up. So let me show you how they look before I go ahead and take it all down and put stakes up for these poor tomatoes. All right, friends, so that's all my tomatoes and they're all doing fantastic. So now let's head over to our next section, which is my zucchini and squash. And these ones I have, the ones that transplanted themselves that are doing really good, they're huge. Then I have the ones that I went ahead and sowed in the ground and seed, those popped up. And then I had quite a few that didn't pop up, so I had to re-sow those ones. And those ones are just starting to pop up. So let's take a look at those. All right, here is one that came up as a volunteer. There's one, two, three, four in this little section right here. I've got four and those were all volunteers. This one is also a volunteer as well as this one over here. And I'm not noticing any fruit yet so we will wait and see if I don't notice anything coming off these then I will end up ripping them out because they're just taking up space if they're not going to produce anything this is another volunteer and then here are the ones that I transplanted these I had in the house that I started from seed these ones are doing good they've got some 
fruit starting on them. These are the crooked neck squash and they are doing fantastic. And then over here I have the ones that I went ahead and sowed and these are doing good. These were the ones that came up so I need to come in here and do some weeding before I leave so my father-in-law can see. Even though I put little markers I just want to make sure he can see them so he doesn't accidentally take them out. But those ones are doing good. See this one didn't pop up. I don't that's not one. So this one is going to have to be re-sewn again. This one is missing. And here's one that I re-sewed. It's a lot smaller than the other ones. As well as this one. It's just popping up, but they are doing good. And I weeded around most of them so that way my father-in-law can see them and he knows. And I put little stakes by these so he knows what is what. But this whole bed is doing pretty good. And I added over here. I just need to come and add I think this row right here needs some more. And zucchini, that just goes crazy here. So I'm not worried about starting them from seed right now. All right, next we're gonna check out the pepper bed and see how these peppers are doing. I've already harvested two hot banana peppers from this bed, which was really awesome to have. I gave them to my father-in-law and he absolutely loved them. But let's take a look at how great these peppers are doing. And a lot of them already have fruit starting on them. And I should be getting some nice peppers here in the next month or so. And here are my peppers doing very nicely. These ones have some little fruits starting on them. Look at these banana peppers. These are the sweet ones. These are sweet banana peppers that I got here. So those are starting to come up, but see I need to come through here and weed all this out so that they're not taking everything from the, my peppers. Another nice pepper plant. Aha, look at, look at all these peppers. And these are the sweet, sweet banana peppers. Same with this one over here. Lots of peppers. And I got flowers. Over here I have my sweet peppers, my red and green peppers. And these ones also have little fruits on them quite a few for this little bitty plant. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the brassicas and those are actually surprisingly doing very well. That one that I showed you of my broccoli that came up, that one got attacked by bugs before I had a chance to really eat it. So you can see the leaf damage to that and then also the bug damage to the actual broccoli itself. There's my one broccoli that I thought I was gonna be able to eat, but bugs, look it, there's a caterpillar in there. damn things. And this one also is getting eaten by bugs or moths. There's another little worm in there. I will probably take these two plants out because they are riddled in bug damage and I don't want it to spread to my other ones that I see are doing pretty good. Here is another one with a little broccoli head growing. And this one got some broccoli. This one also has some broccoli. And then these are my cabbages. They all seem to be doing pretty good. And I've got some more cabbage right there. And then these six that are right here are my Brussels sprouts. Those are doing good. Over here, and these are getting eaten alive. This is an eggplant. And you can see all the bugs that are on this. I need to come through. But I've got one eggplant, two eggplants. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at my okras. And those are doing pretty good. They're starting to come up. Some are taller than others because they went, I planted them sooner and then I had to succession another row because the ones that didn't pop up started coming up. So let me show you how my okra is doing. And I got a suggestion from somebody to go ahead and get these little flags to use as markers. And I absolutely love that idea. It comes with so many of these flags. So for my smaller things like my okra, I went ahead and put a flag next to it. So again, family could see it and not pull it out. That's an okra. And there's another one right there. This one is a little bit bigger, but so on. I've got three rows of okra. And these will get bigger as they get older, but for now they are doing very good. Not to mention we have not had a rain for a little while, so we need to hurry up and get some rain. But as you can see, I mean, the ground is still moist, still wet. When I dig deep, it's still, still wet in there. All right, so last thing on my list is we are gonna walk through and see the cucumbers and how they are doing. These I have not trellised up yet, but they are starting to climb. So I need to get the trellis up here very shortly. My husband actually said he's going to work on that while I'm gone, make the trellises so that I can come through and put them up. And I can just attach the little tentacles and they'll start climbing up the trellis for me. 
So here are my cucumbers. All right, so I've got three rows of cucumbers. All of them are doing good. Some of them are flowering already. As you can see, these ones are starting to flower. And I've got a little cucumber starting right there. This one is also starting to flower. I have never had any luck with cucumbers. Growing cucumbers in California, I, they would grow but they would be the most bitter, disgusting thing of your life. Here's another one. So I'm really hopeful that we will have good cucumbers here because I really do love cucumbers. I love juicing and I always put cucumbers in my juicing. But that looks really good. All of them came up and they're doing fantastic. This row over here, there's nothing here yet. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. But I need to come through with the tiller and get rid of all these weeds and figure out what I'm going to plant here. Maybe more cucumbers. We'll see. All right, friends. So this section directly behind me, I tilled up yesterday. It was about, it was about a foot tall of weeds that were covering this area. This is where I'm going to be putting my pumpkin and my watermelon, my cantaloupe, my sprawling vegetables are going to go over here. Plus I should be getting some sweet potato slips very shortly and those I'll put somewhere in this garden as well. But that section is cleared out and ready to go. I'm going to have the kids help me with sowing those seeds next week. I'm excited for those. I've never grown watermelon or cantaloupe. I have done pumpkin back in California and I absolutely loved it so pretty so i am looking forward to doing that next week but i hope you enjoyed this short tour friends everything is growing so nice i am really really happy with how well everything is doing right now in the garden i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends and family as always i hope all is well and have a blessed day